afternoon. Before I get into the actual briefing concerning the uh, events of that day, I would like to thank the community here in Chattanooga for the, the outpouring of support that we have received uh, concerning uh, this investigation. Uh, the folks have stepped, stepped to the plate and uh, on admirably supporting us as we do uh, this investigation. I know there are going to be many questions about this tragic event, especially about the shooter and why he did what he did. We have those same questions and are working hard to get those answers. But please, keep in mind, this is a complex and ongoing investigation, and we are still in the early stages of piecing together exactly what happened and why. So we can provide you the most complete and accurate picture. It is very important not to jump to conclusions about what happened, so I would ask that you please be responsible when talking about the case. Let us gather the facts we need in order to honor our hero's ultimate sacrifice. With those caveats, I want to share some additional information with you about what we believe happened at both crime scenes, which will no doubt show how heroic our service members were on July 16th. Shortly before 11 a.m. on July 16th, the shooter drove up to the Armed Forces Recruitment Center and fired shots. He did not get out of his vehicle at that time. He then proceeded He then proceeded to the Amnicola Highway site where he crashed through the gate at the Naval Reserve Center. The shooter exited, exited his vehicle armed with an assault rifle, a handgun, and numerous magazines of ammunition. A service member from inside the facility observed him and opened fire on him, firing several rounds at him. Uh, the shooter then responded by shooting into the building. The shooter approached the front of the building, entered into the facility, and then shot the first service member inside the facility. He then has made his way throughout the building, continuing to shoot at those who he encountered. <coughs> he then exited the building out of the back of the facility and into the gated motor pool area where he killed two more service members. Two service members attempted to provide cover and assist the military personnel getting over the fence and away from the shooter. The shooter continued to fire and killed two additional service members. The shooter then attempted to move inside the compound, at which point he was engaged by the Chattanooga Police Department, where one CPD officer was wounded. CPD returned fire and neutralized the shooter. The heroic, the heroic actions of these service members doubtlessly saved numerous lives. Moving forward, we have evidence collected and testing are still ongoing with the FBI, along with our law enforcement partners. We will continue to work tirelessly on this investigation. The FBI has been working almost 400 leads and has an estimated 250 FBI personnel on the ground in the area and hundreds more working across the country and around the globe on this investigation. I will leave you with this. There's a lot of reporting out there on what some people believe to be bits and pieces of evidence. Whether true or not, we cannot explain what these reports might mean without the full context of the evidence that a thorough investigation provides. 